the most common complaint I hear from the woman is that they are unhappy with their lot. Why to avenge yourself, I ask? The ox cannot become a lion. Still looking. Who wants all those responsibilities and this ammo. Take this! Great! Don't make me hurt you! You go to sleep. Much mystery to me as anyone else. Maybe Songbird knows, but he's not talking. I'm sorry. What for? I get to wear this stylish thimble to cover up my hideous deformity. I hear they're all the rage in Paris. Money? Catch! Ammunition. Weapons missing. You must think me some sort of freak. A girl who can bring dead men back to life. Whose only acquaintance is a, a giant bird creature. It must seem ridiculous. You just got dealt the bad hand. I am not going back to that tower no matter what happens. It won't stop until they happen. Why? What did I do to them? You frightened them. Good. This is what they want, brothers. To keep you 
so hungry, you can't speak but to me. To keep you so ignorant, you can't think of solutions to all your problems. To keep you chasing that almighty silver eagle, so you can buy everything they're selling to keep you down, brothers. But Daisy Fitzroy says there's another way. Another way coming real soon. These people are like this because of Fink? Maybe Daisy's right. Maybe she should pay him back for all of this. Not before she pays us. We're here for guns and then the airship. I guess we could head straight for the police station. Or see what's in that bar. What do you think? Back it up, Skell. Spare some coin, friend. Not all of us are gainfully employed down here. Ah, and a man's got to eat. some of the gloom. Grab that lock. When you force deep underground, well, you see things from the bottom up. And down at the bottom of the city, I saw a fire burning. 
the fire's got heat of plenty, but it ain't got no mouth. Daisy. Now she got herself a mouth big enough for all the fires in Columbia. Always use more of them. There's the impound. We're gonna have to get through an army to get those tools. The box and weapons go together like fire and gunpowder. One spark, and we'll have a blaze we cannot control.
obliged. in you, if nothing else. Dropped a couple grizzly traps around the lines up here. Idea was to, to bleed one of your couriers till he gave you up. Except, of course, you're using kids now. Now I got this tiny engine boy eyeballing me. Tried to take his leg off. Damn, things just 
line here between us. I sure wish he'd cry or something. All yours. Air 
there's the job and there's life. They pay me to hate the goddamn Vox and I take their money, but what's the harm of having a drink with Fitzroy's people? Face to face at the graveyard shift while they're, they're just folk. Well, I guess I fell into the goddamn bottle because I stumbled back without the evidence locker key. <laughs> if Schmidt finds out, well, there'll be hell to pay. Now we just have to get them back to the Vox, and then we get our airship. This seems right up your alley. No problem. All done. Who are we really helping by getting guns for the Vox Populi? It's gonna help us. Daisy can make a change, can't she? Make things better for the people here. Sure. We sure as hell aren't gonna be able to carry all this back to the shop. God, we didn't think this all the way through. What is that? It looks like a tear. To a, another version of this room that doesn't have any tools in it. Well, if the tools aren't in there... Then they must be back, back at the, the shop. shop. Booker, if we go into the Sarah... There's any turning back. Are you sure you want to go now? Well, that did something. Come on, let's head back to the gunsmith and finish our deal. I aim to be on that airship and well shut of this place for a while. Locks get their weapons. There's going to be a revolution just like Les Miserables. These people are gonna have better lives. Yeah. They argued something fierce at night, Lady Comstock and a prophet. Could never make out what it was about from my bunk, though. After the worst, I seen she ain't left for morning prayer. So I crept upstairs to check in on her. Like a fool, I lingered. Scullery maid was what they called me when I walked into Comstock House. Murderer was what they shouted when I ran out. You ever see a forest at the beginning of a fire? For the first flame, you see them possums and squirrels running through the trees. They know what's coming. But the fat bears... Daisy's moved these people. Things can change, Booker, and we can be a part of it. I don't want to be a part of it. Once we get our airship, we'll be well shut of this place. Slumber. 